Hello and welcome to HITC Sport. Right, let's take a look at every Premier League club and find one former player who's now a free agent, stuck at home, crying into the cushions on their couch. But while this might sound mean, no, no, don't worry. It's not like you or I getting sacked by their job in Ikea. No, no, these lads will still be crying into satin pillows made out of the finest cashmere in a six-bedroom mansion house. Anyway, right, let's go. Arsenal, Jack Wilshire. Where do you want to start with Arsenal? Back in 2008, they signed Samir Nasri, thinking they got their hands on the next Zidane. No, no, Jory is a midfield talent, but considering he's currently 33 and without a club after being dumped by Antalya Spore, West Ham and Anderlecht, kind of shows you he's got the discipline of James Corden during Lent, a fellow who probably spends at least one third of his life with a Kit Kat in his mouth. Christ, Nasri was just dumped by Anderlecht for apparently being too big a headache. This is the same Anderlecht who employed Craig Bellamy on a daily basis. That kind of says it all. But still, the answer here is Jack Wilshire, a 29-year-old homegrown academy prospect whose career was too by injuries and hype. Do you remember when Pep Guardiola brought the English hype train back down to earth when he said he had several Wilshers in the Barcelona B team? Well, considering Thiago Alcantara was in that team, it would just lift at the Champions League in August while Wilshire is stuck on the couch while sweeping into a bowl of Rice Krispies. I think Pep might have called that one right. As to Villa, Gabriel Banlahor. Okay, I would touch on former Villa goalkeeper Orion Nyland, who's been unemployed for months, but that would just remind me that he's still on my goddamn fantasy league team. Oh yeah, that's clever. Have your goalkeeping deputy to Ederson be a fellow who doesn't even have a job. But I'm gonna go for Gabriel Banlahor. Yes, you're probably screaming that he's retired, right? Well, two weeks before Christmas, he said he'd reverse that decision for zero wages, just for the love of the game. See, when Conor McGregor comes out of retirement, he gets an eight-figure paycheck rammed down his throat by Dana White before he's even had time to finish his morning boat of ready brick. When a bottle does that on Twitter, he gets offered new tub to dive at Hose FC, the Crown Sissant, Corby Town and Glass of Wasps. Oh yeah, and Claude from AFT asking if he plays him in field. Bryden Ezekiel Shalotto. Meet Ezekiel Shalotto, a hipster looking former Inter Milan defender who looks like he probably draws nude artwork in his basement. Anyway, he arrived at Brighton in 2017, played 20 games in their debut Premier League season to help keep them up. But yeah, even at the age of 31, he still hasn't found a club since being released last year. Burnley Dean Marnie. Remember all the hype Dean Marty swallowed up at Tottenham in the early 2000s? He and Jamie O'Hara were supposed to be a midfield partnership that would last forever. Well, that lasted about as long as a priest at an underage swimming pool. Marty is a former Burnley bulldozer in midfield. He's 36, hasn't officially retired yet, but was still released in July by Fleetwood Town. And this is a team who offer contracts to an elderly Glen Whelan and a guy who spent nearly three years in prison. So clearly they're not too fussy. Chelsea Diego Costa. 30 years ago, Diego Costa was arguably the best centre forward in the Premier League. He just slammed home 59 goals in 120 games for Chelsea, helped them to win two Premier Leagues and a League Cup. An absolute headache for defenders, but an absolute bulldozing monster up front. Sure, he looks like the type of guy who'd probably rip off his own grandmother's head if she dared to beat him at chess, but on the pitch, absolute goal machine. He's the same guy in Liverpool bent over backwards to try and sign in 2013, and I'm sorry, pairing him with Luis Suarez that season. I don't care if they still had a defence made of wet porridge, Stevie G would have won the Premier League that year. Anyway, ironically, Suarez has just ended his Atletico Madrid career, booting Costa out to the wilderness of unemployment. Any, any takers? Crystal Palace, Papa Suarez. Poor old Papa Suarez, he was never the same after that car crash in 2016. The man is lucky to even still have a career, so I won't be too harsh on him. On his day, he was a decent left back for Crystal Palace. For each FA Cup final in 2016, he wasn't bad. But yeah, he was recently let go by League 2 club Troyes out of France at just 30 years of age. Everton and more yes. Everton's transfer apology ever since that billionaire takeover. They're a bit like an immature teenager who gets access to their daddy's credit card. Think Brooklyn Beckham or whatever constipated looking rugrat fell out of Will Smith's ball bag in the mid 90s. There's no better example of such stupid spending as Everton signing Umar Nias for 13.5 million in February 2016, only to barely use him, loaning him out to Cardiff and Hull. That's why I didn't understand Ronald Coleman ending Luis Suarez's Barcelona career in a one minute phone call. Clearly you're not to be trusted when it comes to rating centre forwards. Anyway, Nias actually did okay when he did play for Everton, but he's 30 years of age and still looking for a new club after being released in June. Fulham Kieran Richardson. Yeah, there we have former Fulham winger Kieran Richardson. Admittedly, he hasn't had a club since leaving Cardiff in 2016, but he's on the look for a new one, see? So technically, still a free agent. Any takers? Anyone? Nah, I, I wouldn't either. Leeds, Ross McCormack. Okay, to be fair, Ross McCormack isn't actually a free agent, but he might as well be. That would probably be less embarrassing than seeking employment at Aldershot Town. Don't forget, this is a guy who smashed home nearly 60 goals for Leeds United. He was a fellow who cost over £30 million in transfer fees. So at 34, when he sees the likes of Lee Griffiths preparing to compete at York 2021 with Scotland, even after a year-long break from the game, while he, a player who's arguably at a better level, is now in the conference. 
Oh, what happened, Ross? Leicester, Ahmed Musa. A bit like Nias, Ahmed Musa was another waste of cash in 2016. Leicester won the league and so decided to chuck a club record 16 million pounds at Ahmed Musa. He never settled, only ever scored two per minute goals, was binned off to Saudi Arabia in 2018, only to quit them last October. He's only 28. Josh shot down interest from Sheffield Wednesday, was recently linked with Newcastle, and also has previous admirers in Aston Villa and Hull City. So clearly, he just attracts anyone who's ever employed Steve Bruce. Liverpool, Daniel Sturridge. I could go for Martin Skirtle, but no, the obvious answer here is Daniel Sturridge, who was mostly an injury hit waste of wages at Anfield for the best part of five years, but hey, don't forget, he scored 35 goals in his first 50 games for the club, striking up an electric partnership with Luis Suarez. During the 13-14 season, I'm sorry, Sturridge was the best English striker on the planet, so it's sad that he's now 31 and was sacked just six months into a three-year contract with Travis Bonds out in Turkey after receiving a four-month ban for betting. But lads, that ban expired in July. Yeah, I know, he's only about two injuries away from having to stick a disabled toilet in his house, but come on, He's worth a gamble in the championship at least, right? Man City Robinho. I could touch on Robinho. Back in 2008, he was Man City's biggest ever signing. A Galactico dragged out of Real Madrid and chucked on a plane. He probably thought he was going to Chelsea. And I'm pretty sure he assumed there was only one team in Manchester and they didn't play in blue. But hey, offer him a fat chunk of cash and he doesn't care. Anyway, he's 36. Just been dropped from Santos after a political snowstorm. Good Christ, I don't care that he's the original Neymar. The supposed heir to Pele. Don't sign a footballer on the verge of prison. Booth for Boney also fits. A £30 million panic buy from Swansea in 2015. A target man who seemed to lose any shred of confidence there and then on the spot. To the point that the former Ivorian gold machine is now 32, unemployed, and training with Newport County. I mean, come on. Man United Shinji Kagawa. Cash your mind back to 2012, and Shinji Kagawa was seen as a 23 year old world class playmaker. Manchester United chose him instead of Lille's Eden Hazard that summer. This guy was supposed to be an elite midfielder. Well, fast forward nine years, Hazard is a £100 million Galactico with enough money to invade six countries and employ Jake Paul to iron his shoes. Cagall, on the other hand, is 31 and it was probably embarrassing enough to be stuck in the Spanish second tier of the Real Zaragoza. What's even more humiliating though is that his contract was terminated in October, leaving the former Asian footballer of the year to spend Christmas without a job. Honestly, how does he not even have a club? What's next for his career? Are we going to see him serving up stale croissants down the Costa Coffee drive through Come on, why doesn't anyone employ this guy? He's played for footballing institutions like Manchester United and Barcelona. Barcelona. Okay, it was FC Miyagi Barcelona, but still, it, it still sounds good. Newcastle, Mapu Yanga and Biwa. Any Newcastle fan remember Mapu Yanga and Biwa? A highly rated French defender who Alan Pardew signed for 8.5 million quid in January 2013, with everyone just trying to ignore the fact that the last French defender Newcastle signed for 8.5 million pounds in the January transfer window was honestly one of the worst defenders to ever kick a ball. But Yanga and Biwa would be different, right? Newcastle had beaten Arsenal to his signature, an absolute coup, right? Nah, no, we're forgetting that Arsene Wenger was also in the business of recruiting defenders about as sturdy as a stay like sandwich. Yanga and Biwa played 50 times for the Magpies, nearly half of which were defeats. One of them was an inexcusable 6-0 loss at home to Liverpool, who didn't even have a Luis Suarez on the bench. Since moving to Roma and Lyon, some fans thought he was the one that got away. Nah, he's currently 31, unemployed and eating pot noodles on the couch. Sheffield United, Jack Rodwell. Okay, I couldn't find one for Sheffield United, so let's say Jack Rodwell. Yeah, you know he's officially getting paid at Bramall Lane, but come on. This fella could easily spend the next six months trapped in a fridge freezer in the canteen, and nobody would notice. Well, maybe the players might after their lunch tastes like butter, grease, and unfulfilled potential. Southampton, Graziano Pelle. Yeah, Graziano Pelle is probably richer than the actual Pelle right now. That's what happens when you forfeit your international career to go and collect the bag out of the back house of China. Playing against footballers who probably be outplayed by the cast of Bennett like Beckham. Anyway. Pelé was a top centre forward under Ronald Koeman of Southampton. Yeah, he probably spent the last four years coding his bank account in gold, earning 50 million quid since 2016, 350,000 pounds a week to play in a team with Fellaini and a bunch of Chinese nobodies. Anyway, he's currently a 35 year old free agent and probably living in a nine bedroom castle. Tottenham Sebastian Bassong. Yeah, Sebastian Bassong, not officially retired at 34, but he is in my head because I'm pretty sure I'm never going to see him on a football pitch again. I mean, I don't often tune into the Hungarian second tier. Anyway, this former £8 million Tottenham signing hasn't had a club since leaving Greek club Vonos FC in 2019. West Brom, Claudio Jakob. Claudio Jakob was a solid defensive midfielder for West Brom, played nearly 200 games for the club between 2012 and 2018, only scored twice, so clearly he had an allergy to taking shots. Anyway, despite his pathetic goal scoring record at club level, less than 10 career goals, he actually has a 1-2 and two record for Argentina. Does not make any sense. Anyway, yeah, he's 33 and a free agent. West Ham, Ravel Morrison. Ravel Paul Morrison is widely perceived as being a massive waste of talent who never cut it at any of the clubs he played for, right? Well, the only time he showed anything close to a glimmer of what he's capable of was back in 2013 for West Ham, when for some reason this creative attacking midfielder actually played the best stuff under the rigidly defensive Sam Allardyce. Worked that one out. For six months he was brilliant, scoring a 3-0 win at White Hart Lane. Finally he was away from Manchester, his head was screwed on, the sky's the limit, right? Now nah, he's 27 and lasted just five months at Adelton Hag, and he's been unemployed for the last week. This fella 
Josh being the shoes to pop pop with right now. Instead, he's about three years off living in a cardboard box outside the back of B&Q. Wolves Nathaniel Mendes Lang. Anyone remember Nathaniel Mendes Lang? A former Wolves winger who never really played for the club before they cashed in and sold him to Peterborough? He's not great at Middle East, but hey, at 28, just being sacked by Cardiff. Anyway, that's the end of it, guys. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe, and as always, I'll talk to you in a while.